skin is a little bit bad but I just wanted to come and show you guys another way you can DIY your lampshade covers now guys I hope you guys saw the last video and I hope you all enjoyed it now what I'm gonna do is to do another one it's very easy now in the last video I use I use sheer but I use two different colors of sheer so in today's video I'm gonna show you another way how to make it but I'm gonna use just one fabric so here I have Rami linen and I was looking to see if I could use some of the other fabrics but mm. anyway so here I have Rami linen this is pink actually um, what I'm gonna do is just to show you guys because this is this one is really really simple um, not so much like the other one now you're just going to need one piece of fabric as I said before now the measurement for this is 64 wide remember guys I said I was gonna try my, my very best to get one to gather up a little bit more so this is 64 inches wide and 18 and a half inches long now guys remember the measurement that you're gonna use for your lampshade cover is depended on how big or how small your actual lampshade cover is so this one is 11 and a half but basically what i'm gonna be doing is to um fold the top so i actually added on um six inches because this would be 11 and a half and i added on um six inches which would be for the fall and a little bit of sewing allowance that's why i ended up with 18 and a half now the first thing that you're gonna do is to take your fabric you're gonna fold it in half now this part that is going to be joined is going to be at the back of the lampshade cover i mean yes it's round but you're going to be using the half when you find the half you're going to make sure that you find the half you fold it you're gonna put it down on the table. I'm gonna adjust the camera, adjust the camera just a bit for you guys to see. So again, you have your fabric, you fold it in half. So here you have it. You fold it in half. Let me adjust it a little bit better. Okay, so you fold it in half like so. Now the part that you're gonna use for the top, what you're gonna do is to take your measuring tape. And a pencil or whatever it is that you're gonna be using you can use a pencil or whatever it is that you're gonna use to make a little mark now you're gonna measure four inches down from where you're gonna be doing the top the reason why you're gonna have a three inch fold and then you're going to need to find because I'm gonna be putting in two button holes and that is where the string i'm gonna be using some string to pass through the top of this so you're gonna need the string to pass through so you're just gonna measure four and you make a little mark there and then where you have the four you're going to make a one inch mark again so in between the one inch mark you're going to come out a little bit you guys you can do this on the wrong side of your fabric by the way to make the marks and then here you're going to put you're just going to do a little mark so let me show you guys so this is what I have from here I have four inches and then here I have one inch now where I have this little mark here I'm going to be doing it equally here and what I'm gonna do is go on the sewing machine and I'm going to um, do two button holes I'm gonna put one on this side and one over here now that is where the string is gonna pass through I did half inch between each half inch from the edge of here to here remember this is on the fold guys so what you're gonna do is to carry this out another half inch so you're gonna have a one inch space in between you guys you don't have to have a one inch space if you don't want to you can have a half inch this is running linen again so the fabric is a bit thin so I'm doing a, a half inch so I'm just gonna carry this out and right here would be where I would put one of the button holes and here would be where I put um, the other one so I'm gonna go over on the sewing machine and do that I'm gonna take it back and show you guys the next step okay guys so for the purpose of the video I decided to use white because I just wanted to show you guys um, my sewing machine is malfunctioning just a little bit but anyways guys this is basically what you're gonna be doing you're just gonna be putting in two little buttonholes now 
I'm going to be using a string to pass through the top of this. So this is where you're going to do. So all you're going to do is to take your seam ripper and just to take out. You can slip this, but I would advise you to do it now before you go on to the next step. So I'm just going to go ahead and use a seam ripper and open up these. And then I'll show you guys what is going to happen for the next step. Okay guys, so I'm just using the seam ripper just to take it out um, to create the holes because I always do this part first. Okay, so the next step that we're going to do, that is finished with. So the next step that we're going to do guys, you're going to be falling, you're going to be falling in half again. And you're going to stitch going down here to join these together and you are going to end up with a circle now in the meantime what you can do is also fold the bottom which is opposite opposite to where you just put the two button holes you're just gonna turn over the hem of this and again um no i'm gonna do i'm gonna use white just for the purpose of the video so you guys can see all the different things that i'm going to be doing onto this okay guys so I'm going to go over to the sewing machine, do the sides, and turn over, hem the bottom one inches. So you're just going to be folding over and do it one inch, give it a one inch hem all the way around. And then I'll come back and show you the final stage, which is what is going to be done to the top of it. Okay guys, so I'm back with this and I used white thread so you guys can actually see. I actually turned it, let me come a little closer. So I turned it over one inch. So this is why I wanted to use the white because the pink is so bright. So you guys can see that. And all the way around, that's how I turned it over and I joined. So this is what your project is supposed to be looking like right now. So what we're going to do is the final um, two things for the top. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to be finding three inches. So let me put this here. So you're going to take your tape measure. I just went and got some pins, guys. So you're going to take your tape measure and you're going to find back the three. You're going to stick a pin right there where you have three. Or if you want to use the, a pencil or a chalk or something that can be moved. You can, so you could just mark mark right where you have three inches. Now guys, remember originally when we measured, we measured four. And that is because I want to have a little bit of a space on top. Now, I'm going to mark that. So let me put the pin on to what would be the right side. And I'm going to be folding this over where the three is. So you're going to have a three inch fold over. And you're going to get that three inch fold over, probably pin and just measure going right around the whole entire thing. Three inches. So you measure three inches, fold over, you stick your pin there as a guide and you do going all the way around. Okay guys, so here you're going to have the three inches. So you can see where I have that. So all I did was turn it over. And you'd have three inches and you're gonna stitch going all the way around there okay guys so now I have well let me remove all the pins but I have a three inch stitch going all the way around the top and again let me come a little bit closer so you guys can see let me take the camera down so this is what the wrong side is going to be looking like you're gonna have a stitch going down here where you join them and here you have three inch stitch going all the way around again i'm using white for the purpose of the video so that is it now what we're gonna do is and let me take it back to where the front is because remember this is going to be the top of the front so what you're gonna do is right above here where you had the stitches you're gonna have a one inch stitch going all the way around the top of this so all you're gonna do is to mark a one inch going all the way around or if you are one of those persons who can eyeball it you get a one inch stitch just put it under the sewing machine and get a one inch stitch going all the way around the top and then you're finished 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do mine and then I'll come back and put the string through. Okay guys, so here I am and I am finished with all the sewing. So this is what it's going to be looking like. Now you guys, you can move the button holes come down a little bit further if you want to so that it centers in the middle of it. However, this is what mine is currently looking like. Now guys, you want to um, use the iron. For me, I just use the iron and I just went over the edges, especially around here. You want just, um, you don't necessarily have to press like press press, but I just wanted to have the edges of both the bottom and the top. I just wanted to have the edges looking, you know, a little bit better because this is ramelining and it's a bit crushed. So what I'm going to do guys, I have this string and I'm just going to pass it through here and I'm going to slip it onto the lampshade cover and let you guys have a close up look at what it looks like. <laughs> to the lamp as I did with the next one and I'm gonna show you guys how it would look okay guys so this is what it looks like okay now you guys let me know which one of the out of the two methods that I've shown you guys let me know which one you like better um, I like both of them because I use both of them <laughs> um, it's the first time I've ever done one with pink I usually just stick to my lime green anyways you guys thank you so very much for joining me on this video don't forget to check out the other video and all of the other little videos that I did showing you guys all of the many ideas that you can use to jazz up your lampshade covers don't forget to like subscribe and share and guys leave me a comment and let me know what you think about these little diys and remember there is always a link to my other channel in the description box anyways you guys thank you for joining me and i hope you all enjoy the video bye guys <laughs>